Hey, what is up guys? It's Jemmy here, and I actually need to give a formal apology to Pokey. I don't know if you're watching this, but if you are, then, you know, I'm completely sorry, dude. But basically, you got I want to show you guys my point of view and how I see it and how it resulted in me making that comment. But I am, you know, I if I could take it back, I would. So if the backlash does occur, then it's completely my fault. But let's go right to the explanation on how I felt. So basically, I made this, for, uh, this first thing was when I made my How to Level Up Faster video, which has like 200k views now, and I was like, hey, that's pretty good. And I see Pokey made one, and I thought he was going to shout me out, which he doesn't need to, by the way, you know, anyone can make a tough, or How to Level Up Faster guide, and doesn't need to credit me. I just said, I just felt like, you know, hey, that's kind of, you know, you're stealing my kind of idea, you know, you get that feeling. And then it happens again when Pokey did the top 5 Assault Rifles, and I'm kind of like, you know, this is kind of getting sketchy, I kind of want some credit. So, during this whole process, I was getting really greedy, kind of stingy that, you know, hey, why aren't you giving me a shout out? These, are, you know, I'm the one that's promoting this stuff. But in reality, anyone can do these videos. If you think about it, everyone in Call of Duty has made a Top 5 Assault Rifles video, as you guys made points about in the comments. So, I am completely in the wrong here. I might, I, I mean, I was definitely blinded by greed, I, I really shouldn't have done this stuff, so I am very sorry for that. But I just, you know, that was my how I saw it. I was kind of, you know, just ridiculous at that point. I shouldn't have done that. But anyways, I really hope that you do take this formal apology that I shouldn't have taken that, done that. And hopefully we can work together in the future. Or not, it really depends. I probably, probably already gutted it out. But anyways, hopefully you do accept this apology. And thank you if you did watch this. The truth. Welcome back to another video guys, it's your boy Jemmy, and today we're going to be taking a closer look to the Honey Badger in the community testing environment. And basically, the Honey Badger has been such a staple weapon in Phantom Forces since its release, and I really love the weapon myself, like the Iron Sights is amazing for it. So it's been dead for a while, since you know I haven't really seen that many people using it, but with this new and improved one, I think it's going to bring it back into the meta. So basically I have 182 kills which gives me my overview on how I feel about the gun, and I think it's really good for its class. So it has a damage output of 30 to 22, which is, you know, like average, kind of below average on the 22 damage part. And this falls off at ra around the range of 60 to 70, I'd say. So you're going to be 5-shotting players usually, but sometimes if you're close enough, you'll definitely 4-shot them. However, this is all compensated by the, like, this is a disgusting, 780. I mean, it's not as insane as the M231 at 1225, but it's still pretty strong for a normal gun. And this thing makes you melt players when you're really close to them, and it even works at medium range combat. However, it makes it kind of hard to kill players in long range, but it doesn't make it impossible. You're just going to burn a lot of ammunition during the process. And finally, we can completely ignore this, I'll just generalize them. The accuracy itself is really optimal. It's just really hard in long range combat, as I said earlier. The hipfire accuracy, the crosshair is pretty tight, and if you add a green laser, you don't even need to worry about it. And the sight accuracy. The thing I love about the Honey Badger is it's all vertical, so all you have to do is pull down on the gun. There's no need to move your mouse left or right for this, and I, it's basically the easiest thing to control. And finally, we have the ammo capacity of 30 to 120. I mean, with this gun, you'd wish you'd have a higher magazine, but I mean, in real life, this thing probably does have 30 rounds of the magazine. And you have 120 surplus. So I found myself losing, like, not losing, running out of ammo, but. I mean, if you can manage to pick up ammo, then you'll be completely fine with this gun. So overall, the gun shoots really has a really fast kill potential during close to medium range. You'll struggle in long range. However, the accuracy is pretty good. Just pull down on the mouse when you're aiming down sights. And you will find yourself running out of ammo with this gun because it just shoots so fast. But that's the overall view of how I see the gun. Let's get right into some gameplay. Alright, so we find ourselves in highway a lot. Oh, there's a player out really far out there. So we managed to take him out, but it took about 29 bullets just to get him. So as much as this thing can actually do long range combat, it's going to be really hard to kill those players that are really far out. However, if we get ourselves into some really medium to close range combat, then you'll see how good this thing weapon is. But at its current state right now, it's really nice since it's all vertical recoil that you have to deal with. There's almost no horizontal at all. Okay, so we're going to head over here and see if we can get to the hill. 
Got an enemy player here, another one just sitting there. And as you can see, this thing melts players as once you get really close to them. So it's grenade central right here. Oh, I should have I could have saved that player. We got the assist there because once again this thing doesn't really do well in the long range. That player gets taken out. There's a lot of action happening right now. That player is taken out. Okay, we're gonna get take him out. There's another player right here. But we get sniped by an AWS? Is that a new weapon? I've never seen that before. We might check it out later. Alright, that guy has the, AK, the new AK-15. It's going to be pretty cool to make an episode on soon. So we have about four minutes left, and we're not doing too hot on the hill. But we just joined, so there's not really that much impact we can do, other than just show off the weapon. Alright, so where are the enemy players at? Alright, let's climb up this bunker. Climb up again. So all the red dots are concentrated at the hill again, so let's go close the gap here. So we get a free kill there. There's going to be a lot more here. As you can see, this thing continues to melt players up close. There's going to be another player trying to get me down, but he's not fast enough. Get that player, and as you can see, this thing is such a beast at close quarters combat. It's amazing. We're going to see, and we see red dot right here. Try to close the gap on him. There's an RPK. He's dead. There's another person right here, though. He's dead. Let's see, another player. And if you catch people off guard with this gun, it's just really good. Well, that you could say that for every gun, but this one is, in particular is really strong against flanking people. Alright, so we I saw someone running down here. We got two, actually. We're going to take those two out, and that's going to result in another double kill. So good job, Stylus, on making this gun really viable again. As you can see, another double kill, and we're at five rounds, so we're going to have to try to pick up some ammunition here. Sadly, we can't take him out with five bullets, so we're going to try to look for some ammo, and sadly, we die there. But as you can see, just from playing a couple of minutes in, we are getting a lot done with this gun. So I'm really happy that Silas decided to make a really close range approach. We're going to be struggling against this guy, but we still managed to take him out with all 30 bullets. We probably had to land at least six at that range. Alright, more red dots here. They're probably all in the hill, so we'll try to go over here. There's more people to flank in the garage, so I guess we'll just use the sweet spot to take them out. We have someone camping there. We're going to reload. Let's see. There's someone right there. Take him out. That was very clean. Let's see. Where else can we go? The capabilities of this gun. I'm really hyped for it. Take that player out. We're going to have to go crouch, and hopefully that guy, that guy has no map awareness, which is terrible for him. We're going to take out another easy kill. Are they all just spawning there? This would be sick. Okay. Let's just stay off. Can we get any more done with this? I don't see any more red dots, sadly. I'm gonna go here. Ooh! I hear shots being fired from here. And I guess that's the end of the match. But as you can see, from that short amount of time, we managed to rack up 25 kills, which is pretty insane within maybe about 2-3 to three minutes. So, Stylus, this is definitely an improvement for the Honey Badger. Thank goodness you guys did this because I think it really needed it since it was bugged out and people really stopped using the gun. But anyways, that's, that is basically going to wrap up our episode of how good it is. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. But sometimes more unexpected sounds grab our attention. Yeah. Like this desert rain frog. Yeah. Boy. Yeah.